The following program has been made possible by the partners of Moment of Shining and viewers like you. Victorious ladies, I am Pastor Priscilla. It's a wonderful time again that we want to feast at the presence of God. It has been always amazing to be with you in all the time that the Lord has been giving to us. If I recall very well, we had an amazing time, the exemption day for ladies. It was a wonderful day. There was a glory of God in the place. God really answered what we prayed and for sure we are living an exempted life there's something that has been buried now in our lives the knowledge of the mighty is working in us you have his knowledge he says the depths are blocking us the depths mean the fountain of the deeps you break them up to release water for you not because you are anointed but but his knowledge his knowledge you walk in a place the place know the one who is working on it and it blacks up not because you are praying to the land and he says by his knowledge also the clouds cannot own your blessing the clouds drop down the Jew on your life. This platform is raising, is raising uncommon, uncommon giftings. It is releasing uncommon anointing. People are still giving us the testimonies of what God did on that day, 27th of June. This lady for two years, she had pyros. Three centimeters. She had pyros. Yes, three centimeters. For two years. Three centimeters. Yes, three centimeters. And she also had the inching waxes. Okay. But after you prayed, she went to Redis and she checked for herself. And all the pearls has gone. Just healing this. Give the better shout of praise to God. Don't miss next year, 2021. Be part of that day. As we are living in this exempted life, there's something glorious that is coming again. It's Victorious Ladies Conference. It's happening on 28th and 29th of August, 2020. Ladies, you cannot miss again. If you enjoyed the exemption day, good things are here to come. And this time, it's about living a victorious life. This time around, there's something that is happening. Apart from the VROC, on Thursday, the 27th, for the first time, we are having Mother's Summit under a theme, My Child is a Trophy of Grace. We want to talk about our kids, the blessing of having children. And on Friday, from morning, is VROC. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturday, it's about the miracles, signs, and wonders. It's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. I recall the time when we were just blending this conference. It was just amazing. Now we have cropped five years. And guess what? It's going to be wow. Everything is going to be amazing. The word of God, the anointing, the atmosphere is going to be wonderful. And you cannot miss this wonderful time. Last year it was amazing. A certain woman, she came on this particular day. 
she was barren, she couldn't conceive after marriage. And God did something amazing. On Saturday, after hearing the word of God, she went back home. Barely two weeks, she went to the hospital and she was discovered pregnant. And this year, she's coming with a baby in her hands. You are next to experience the miracles of God. If you are troubled with fibroids, tumors, whatever the devil has been torturing in your life, you are about to receive your miracle. Me and the man of God, we are ready to usher you in the presence of God, where you are going to feast at the table of the Lord. And your life will never go back the same. There's a wait, special wait for you. It's your time. See you. But I wanted to see something. In that verse, there is something that God was speaking to Peter. When he says, I'll give you the key. The key speaks of the light. Control. The power to control it. If God gives you a key, he's trying to say, I'm giving you the right. Now, it doesn't make sense that God can say, this is a key. But then he says, follow us. That's not a case. You are not in church. Heaven is still in church. Are you following know what I'm saying? The fact that Jesus said, it's a key of the kingdom. And I'm handing it to you. He's explaining something bigger. Do you know what he was saying? He said, Peter, when you say something, you will not miss what heaven is doing. You will say what heaven is binding. You will bind what heaven is binding. You will lose what heaven is loosening. I'm giving you the power that there will be no error from your mouth when you talk. So when you say, it will be that which heaven has already power. Oh my goodness. That's the key he gave it to him. That tells you, here, I'm not going to pray. Mm. There's no need of a prayer. I'm going to cut a tree. A stick. No need of a prayer. I'll just cast it. Because there is something controlling. When you are, you are not controlled, you go by the orthodox way, traditional way of understanding things. That everything else I need to pray. Everything else I need to bind. Silence sometimes can be a louder voice of your situation. Resting doing nothing can be a louder voice of your situation but just because a key is missing you go by what is traditional all the time some of you you need to spot on the ground take the mud and put it on your ass some of you you need to run and touch the 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 jacket of a man of God it is not when you raise your hands and you say amen to what he says. Some of you a miracle is in lying down. Some of you is in taking your seed, run with it in flat, and you drop it. He says, I'm giving you the key. You you know what to say which heaven is saying. You want to miss it. That's the key. Who? Oh, oh. Imagine if everyone is like that. How can you walk in one miracle and you miss it? How? It's impossible. It's impossible. That's why he was talking to him. So when he, he found a man, 
lying to the world, to the church. He says, Look at us. Look at us. How many times you felt like drawing attention of a person? He says, Look at us. Look at us. When he went to raise Dorcas, he chased everyone in the room. You don't know that because you didn't know what to do at the moment of a miracle is the reason why you missed it. The miracle was ready but you did it in a different way. That agreement wasn't there. God was not waiting for you to talk. He was waiting for you just to look at him. Just to look at him. Are you getting what I'm saying? When, when the children of Israel had his snakes had his snakes biting him some died God didn't say let an intercessor rise to bind the snakes he says this is a method raise a blossom serpent that looks like the same problem and you look at that don't care with the biting of the snakes keep looking at what has been raised as you are looking at the solution, the problem dies by itself. Oh my God. My prayer is that the Lord will fill someone today with the wisdom to perform miracles. To know what is it that I need to do now. Is God asking me to shout? To raise my voice? Is God asking me that my place will be the answer. Is he looking for a place? Is he asking me to cry? Does he want me to lie on the floor? What is it that I need to do to get into the supernatural life now? He gave it to, to Peter. He's giving to us as serious ladies. With this understanding, you will never lack what to do at each given opportunity in your life. Anytime the Lord is about to perform a miracle, you will know the wind that is blowing. You will sense what is blowing. But right now, God wants me just to look at that and never say anything. It will die by itself. It will die by itself. He wants me just to ignore it. Not even to put it to mind at all. He wants me to say opposite. To be in front and say, I am healed. Like the woman that was that came one time in our crusade in, in Sanji with a tumor outside. She says, I don't sleep this way. Because there is something, a tumor is swelling. Here. When I said, how many of you have got a testimony? She stood to testify. She came in front. Not like I have a tumor. She says, I have a tumor. I have never slept in this side. Because I sleep this side. I sleep on it. And it's painful. But it is gone. I said to a sister, check it. And the sister checks. Looks at me. Says, Apostle. By then I was called past, Pastor. It is still there. And she's looking at me like, It is there. But the woman, with the tears, she says, It's gone. I am confused. Because I wasn't matured like today. I'm like, Is she trying to embarrass me? Why is she coming here to testify when she knows the truth is still there? Little did I know that was the key of the kingdom. The Lord had directed her. Don't testify when it's God. Testify because the little miracle is going to happen from your testimony. When she left at the crusade, on the way going home, the tumor disappeared. She came back. She said, check now. Check now. It has disappeared on the way. Isn't this 
witness the way Jesus was doing miracles to someone he said your faith has made you whole to some people he said go and show yourself don't play at all he said go and show to the priest blind people you have come for a prayer you are not praying for them you simply say go and show reckless people they have come for a prayer you say go and show to the priest why are you going to show? You are reckless. But when they believed it, started on the way, reckless and check out. On the way, not when he prayed on it. That's the reason why our sister's testimony. Yesterday I was about to jump. I was about to jump and comment. She She's found with the five blocks. And the doctor say the five blocks will be growing to the point that the one be space for the child. So it's as good as just you know taking the child out. She comes for a prayer. What would be the expectation from you? What would be the miracle to you? The miracle be Apostle pray for me. Apostle the five blocks should go. God says you will never see my power. Let the five blocks remain there. And I will show you that your baby can grow in the midst of five blocks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not removing them. But I will keep and preserve your baby. And what? The baby will not even be a small baby. Full of grown baby. So that you can say. Nanga ma five blows. Nanga ma five blows. Nanga ma five blows.
delivered the doctor said that the space here is small and the baby was big so because of that the muscle here the one that holds the stomach it got torn so you you you, you tore your muscles yes it got torn no before i gave birth yes was growing yes okay. so the muscles got torn and then when i gave birth because i delivered through caesar and then the doctor said that the, the doctor did not tell me that I tore my muscle. She just said you'll be fine in two months. And then now it was three months. This Thursday I went to the hospital because I, I felt the pain was getting worse. Nothing was changing. And then when they examined me, the doctor said, oh, you tore your muscle. There is an opening here. That's why you feel pain. And the only solution is surgery. Thursday, this Thursday. It was good that you went to last year. Yes, it was good that you should know what to receive in this. So, yes, tell me. So, on Thursday when I went, the doctor said, you're having So, on Thursday when I went, the doctor said, you have an opening. And the risk is... Did you suggest what now is the doctor? Yes, the doctor said I need surgery. Because I... You needed surgery? Yes. Because it would end up into my intestines coming out from there. And I would have hernia. So they said you just need to have surgery. You should come with we should book you for surgery. And then that was Thursday. And then today when I came, when you told us to shout miracles, I just saw like a sudden light. And then afterwards I touched my stomach because I would I would walk stiffly. I, I couldn't shake myself. And then I touched my stomach. I found out there is no pain. I'm completely fine. Hey, he has done it for me. He has done it for you. Hey, he has done it. There's so many wonders. So many wonders. He has done
understand why she's dancing the way she's dancing. She said she could feel her body stiff. But now she's free. A torn, is it a torn muscle? A torn muscle. The Lord has just replaced. Why is God we say? All pain is gone. Wow. Wow. You know what? We will trust the Lord that when you, you want to have a second child, it will be a natural delivery. Father, we touch our Lord. We appreciate what has happened. We release that anointing upon our life. This miracle be paid on it. And Lord, we say, the next time, this one be the story. This one be the story. In Jesus' name. You would deliver naturally. Thank you for watching. We hope you have been blessed. If you have enjoyed this resource and would like to access more, call 0888 or visit www.fountainofvictory.org.